I can't resist. I have to s start this video off with another joke. It's pretty hilarious, so just don't don't overreact here. Knock knock. Atch. Oh, let me get you a Kleenex. Hopefully you didn't get any on your computer. I know, that was hilarious. Let's look at, um, here's our math message video. It's going to tie into the lesson video like they usually do. Um, but 4.6 is interpreting the remainder. And here's our problem. There is one iPad and 50 minutes of time available for four students to share. How much time should each student get to spend on the iPad? I've, I've, I do have um, some things down here that you can think about if you'd like. Go ahead and hit pause, uh, spend a few minutes on it and see what you get, and then come back and compare your answer to mine. For this problem, we've got 50 minutes, we've got one iPad, and our four students here. How can we get so that four students can use an iPad in the 50 minutes? Well, we can't cut up the iPad. We can only um, cut up the minutes. And to do that, I'm going to use the iPad as the example. So we're going to say that this iPad represents 50 minutes. And for four students to use that, we need to divide it into four sections. One, two, three, four. So each student gets to use the iPad for the same amount of time during those 50 minutes. So the iPad is divided up. We're going to divide up the 50 minutes. And we're going to divide that among the four students. Starting with dividing, there's one group of four and five. One times four is four. Subtract. One is less than four. And so we can bring down our zero. There's two groups of 4 and 10, and 2 times 4 is 8, and we subtract and we get 2. 2 is less than 4. There's no more numbers to bring down, so that gives us a remainder of 2. Now, what exactly does this 2 here mean? Well, starting off, we divided the 50 minutes into 4 groups. So we have this 12 is 12 minutes. Each student will get to use it for 12 minutes. I need to erase some of these lines. I guess I can't erase the lines. Oops. I'll just have to write above it. So each student is going to get it for 12 minutes. 12 times 4 is 48. That means this 2 is the 2 minutes left over. Now, if you get iPad time, do you want any time taken away from you or do you want to use it all? You probably want to use it all. So that means we have to take those two minutes and we have to divide those two minutes amongst the four students. And for this one, I'm going to use a fraction because division problems are actually are also fractions. Um, two divided by four is the same as the fraction two-fourths. So now we're going to take that, and each student will get the 12 minutes plus two-fourths more minutes. And two-fourths is the same as one-half. So if we divide those four minutes up, and I know this isn't very clear, each student will get 12 and a half minutes on the iPad. So with this remainder, we continued dividing it and divided it amongst the four students. So they got their 12 minutes, and then we took the two minutes remaining, divided up amongst the students, and we ended up with 12 and a half minutes for each student.